It's Richard and here, good to be with you guys and today we're going to be checking out the E-Square DNA40 by Lost Vape. This uses the latest Evolve chipset or some of you might call it the gold chipset with uh, the resistance lock feature in it. This device is actually great for vapors who don't require high power devices and more for, you know, if you have a tank on it and you just want to vape your normal daily vapes, okay? I'm going to take a toke now and just show it to you. It's lovely, it's performing absolutely great. The good news for my fellow Malaysians is that this device is right now available for purchase uh, locally from a company down south in JB or Johor Bahru called Vapor COD. More details uh, towards the end of the video, but right now, let's go ahead and check out the E Square DNA 40 by Lost Vape. This device is just built solid, looking really cute. <laughs> very unique indeed, you gotta admit, it's square. Very lightweight and also will just about brighten anyone's day with all the color options that's available for you to purchase. I think it comes in red, blue, black, silver, purple, um, light blue and even green as well. So there you go, very nice bright colors. Like this one I have, it's red and this red is looking really red and not pink, all right? Not forgetting because it uses dual 18650s uh, in parallel mode, so battery life is just absolutely amazing. Right now, let's get into some specs and features before we hit the close-ups. This uses the latest, uh, what do you call, upgraded Evolve DNA 40 chipset. That means it comes with the resistance lock feature for nickel builds. Temperature control between 200 and 600 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want to have it in Celsius, no problem. Uh, you can adjust it in the settings. I think Celsius is between 100 and 300 degrees uh, Celsius. Super lightweight because it's made from T6 aluminum. Okay, so it's not heavy at all. Resistance range, Kenthal wire goes from uh, 0.16 ohms, I think to 3 ohms if I'm not mistaken, but I do know it's 0.16 ohms. If you're using nickel builds, nickel wire, NI200, the minimum resistance for this is 0.1 ohms, all right? So, and the list goes on. There's lots and lots of features packed in this little square thing here that looks absolutely gorgeous, okay? So let's get into the close-ups, come back, we'll talk about it, tell you what I think, and we'll call it a wrap. The box that it comes in, dual case like that, branding, lost weight. It's got tamper-proof stickers on both sides took one of it out to open up to test the device. You've got lossvape.com here, the website, eSquare. More logos and powered by Evolve DNA 40. At the back here, you've got features of the eSquare device, content package, and also warning 18 and below, not allowed to use this device. Women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, people with heart conditions, stay away from this device. Patent pending, designed and manufactured by Lost Vape Limited, and also they've got their website and uh, Facebook page here. Barcode made in China, and that's about it. Open up, uh, all you get is your micro USB charger like that, and also the device. Oh, before I forget, you've got stickers here, these red stripe stickers. I'll tell you what I use them for. They're actually for your batteries. And you've got your instruction manual, picture, uh, main features, tell you how to use it, specifications and things like that. Good idea to just go through it and read it over. All right, so we're gonna just close this up and put this aside and get to our device right now. This is the e Square DNA 40, the upgraded, uh, what do you call, Evolve DNA chipset in there. It comes with the uh, resistance lock for nickel builds. Okay, just taking an all around look. You've got your fire button, it's not clicky can hardly hear any noise it's nice and soft here you've got your increase and decrease buttons micro USB charger and your charging port sorry and also an LED light while you're charging and just to let you know you can actually vape on this while you're charging so it's a pass-through um, capable I've still got my batteries in there so as you can see this is the large display screen of the new Evolve DNA chip with your 510 connector here with grooves here for automatic feed atomizers and also this uh, 510 pin is spring loaded just to let you see 
the body is actually made from um, what I call precision CNC milled 6063 or 6063 T6 aluminium right and uh, it comes with a bead blasted and bright dip anodized finish as you can see it's really nice and bright the mine's red which looks red and not pink <laughs> and you can uh, actually slide the door out like that held on by these two ball bearings okay so this is the battery slide lost vape evolved dna 40 carbon fiber design and you got these two ball bearings to help you slide in and out and also keep it locked in place so these uh what they call stickers all you gotta do is just take them off wrap it around your battery so that when you want to remove your batteries you don't have to keep knocking it like that all you do is just pull it and it comes off so for easy removal of your batteries all right so that's what you do i've got lg hg2 these are the latest uh, batteries from lg uh, extended 3000 milliamp hours so you've got more battery life okay in parallel mode on top are your positives bottom negatives and you have your contacts uh, battery contacts apparently it's made from phosphor copper battery contacts but it looks like stainless steel to me so anyway that's a screw there nice very neat with this uh, encasing to cover up the chip and all that so you only see your batteries let's put our batteries back in there again positive on top in parallel mode so that means the batteries will drain off evenly and you don't have to keep switching left to right like and unlike uh, if they are in series okay so once you've got your batteries in there and click it on evolved in a 40 that's the latest chipset 19.3 watts that's my watts there let's get up closer to the screen all right so here it is you have got your resistance lock there as you can see that little lock this is the new dna board and uh, you've got your applied voltage your temperature and then you have your battery indicator your power setting so i'm not going to go through the settings except just to show you probably how to unlock and lock the uh, resistance lock okay you've got nickel built on your rda once you've got the device down okay how you want to lock it is um, while it's unlocked okay Okay, let's see if it's unlocked no it's locked so you unlock it one two three four five once you've unlocked it as you can see it can move okay press the plus and minus together and hold on oh, sorry got to press it properly hold on to it anti locked hold up down let it go and it goes to your ohm icon all right so you want to lock it just press it together again Anti lock, hold up and down, let it go, and it goes into resistance lock. Okay, so if you want to change the temperature, one, two, three, four, five. Once you've got the device locked, okay, just press these two same buttons again. You get to change your temperature all the way up to 600. As usual, just like all the other DNA 40s, it turns it off. All right and if you want to change it down to celsius just press it all the way down once it hits 200 degrees it will go into celsius and to get it back to fahrenheit get it all the way down round robin and goes back to fahrenheit basically just that okay the rest is all the same with your other dna 40 devices okay we're going to take this out all right this device supports uh Kenthal wire minimum resistance 0.16 ohm uh, for nickel wire it's 0.1 ohm and lastly the dimension for this is 61 61 here 75 millimeters and 24 millimeters thick so this is the e square by lost vape we're going to get back top side vape on it and i'll leave you with my thoughts <laughs> very very nice so now that you've seen it guys and heard all about it it's time to spend money <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a devil in disguise, I tell you. So before I get into pricing and stuff like that, where to get it and all, let me tell you what I first thought about it when I saw it. You know, I thought to myself, huh, only 40 watts? That's it? For 600 bucks? <laughs> 
then looking at how cute and original it is. I mean, it's square. It's about the only square box mod I've seen around. And with all the bright color options like purple, green, you know, uh, silver, black and all that. And not to mention the dual 18650s in there in parallel mode. Battery life is going to be amazing. It's going to last forever. <laughs> the big dis screen display, I was sold. I was sold into all this and I finally got it in my hands. Okay. <laughs> 40 watt is enough for my daily tank vapes. Let me take another toke. You know, and apparently the removable cover at the back here, okay, it comes in different finishes like, you know, burl wood and leather as well. And the standard one is actually carbon fiber, which is what I have here. So, all around you'll see carbon fiber but I think I don't know I've not seen it yet but uh, apparently I got into sites and I saw that you know they've got burl wood and leather available so I would love mine to be in black leather that would be so dope man I tell you anyway I'll just be thankful that I have the E square in my hands right now to call my own okay where and how much my fellow Malaysians this is retail I think I mentioned that early on, 600 ringgit, which is a 157 US dollars locally here in Malaysia. It's from a company all the way down south in Johor Bahru, JB, you want to call it. It's Vapor COD, okay. Uh, they used to be called Apple Pie a long time ago. They've been around for a while. They've got two shops uh, in JB. So you can either find them on FB and then contact them, get in touch with them. And they're still in stock right now. Or if you're in JB, you can go straight to the shop and pick it up. I'm going to leave all the links and details uh, below in the description box so you can find them. Okay, They do mail orders as well. I got this mail to me and uh, they do mail orders to East and West Malaysia. So no problem. You would probably just have to pay the postal uh, cost, which is post laju. I think it's 8 to 10 ringgit and that's about it. So red, silver and black is available from Vapor COD. So one more vape, we'll call it a wrap. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day and God bless. Bye for now.